You see me? You see me, okay? What's up y'all, it is your girl Mo, back with another video. And today, we are doing a collective haul, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, just random shopping. I've collected quite a few things, so I just wanted to show you guys. And a lot of you guys voted a vlog style, so that's why we're doing it like this. Before we get into that video, if this is your first time here, baby girl, you clicked on the video, you like the thumbnail, you probably like my energy already. So make sure you subscribe, okay? You like the video, follow me on my socials. They will be down below. Without further ado, you already know. Let's just get right into the video. We ain't doing all that long intro, okay? So let's go. Hey, so, I mean, clearly this is very casual. I'm in a robe because um, I'm clearly going to be changing into clothes. So before I get on into the clothing items, I got a couple of accessories. I got a couple of miscellaneous things. So I want to talk about that first. So that means we're going to talk about our sponsor. So I have worked with them before um, in one of my blogs. So if you guys have watched out, shout out to you. But they sent your girl to more perfumes. So Dossier is basically a company that dupes high-end perfumes the perfumes that you would see at neiman marcus and you know Saks and sephora and nordstrom that are like a hundred plus dollars but they give it to you for thirty dollars and usually more fluid ounces so we always love that you can stay at home you don't gotta go nowhere it gets delivered to you and you save your coin okay the first one is a floral pair this is actually my favorite out of the two girl I don't know, I do not know how to pronounce, or not pronounce, describe scents, okay? So, I'm not the one, okay? Just trust that it smells good. Um, it smells like very like feminine, for sure. It doesn't have like any masculine, and it's like fresh and like clean. That's how I can like, kind of like fresh lemon, but like a little bit more florally. I guess I forgot how many ounces 1.7 fluid ounces and then all of them also come with a trial so we all always love that and then the second one that I got is citrus green apple so this one is actually supposed to be dupe a dupe for I think it's um dang it's like Dolce and Cabana I, is it Dolce and Cabana okay it is Dolce Gabbana, light blue, and I actually have the perfume. So when I was smelling this, I'm like, why does it smell so familiar? I was like looking at the info card and I was like, oh, it's a dupe for it. That's why it smells so familiar. And it literally smells like damn near identical. So yes, love that. Now I have two, basically. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. But I mean, I wouldn't talk about something that I don't like. So make sure you guys Click the link down below. I do have a discount code that I'll put right here somewhere. And um, yeah, get you some perfumes, girl. Don't be smelling musty, okay? Even though we barely go outside the times that you do, you need to smell good, okay? Okay, so I will move on into accessories. The first thing that I picked up is another pair of Desi sunglasses. Um, she came out with a new drop, I think like two weeks ago. Um, and they were fire and I was like, ooh, I have to get them. Like for whatever reason, sunglasses have just been like my new favorite accessory. I don't know why I feel like, actually I do know why, okay? It elevates the fucking outfit. It makes your outfit go from a 10 to a 12, okay? It's like something's missing and then you put on a pair of sunglasses and now she's there, you know what I mean? I got the um, style, I think this is Backtrack. Yeah, it is Backtrack in the like, brown so let me put her on argue with your mom this is why I come on i look expensive like even with the robe on girl even with the robe on this elevated the fit you see what i'm saying so yeah just got these the quality of these are stupendous they're great i believe they retail for 85 dollars yeah 85 dollars and then with shipping i think they came out to like 90 or a hundred dollars with tax and shipping love these definitely a pair of sunglasses that you can wear in the fall um in winter that's why i got them for right now i mean in the summer you can definitely wear them they're sunglasses girl so pick these up like i said i've been really loving the sunglasses lately so i got these Dior sunglasses now y'all know these are the only things that i really purchase that are luxury because they're like 
the most affordable okay let me just tell y'all go on depop search up dior sunglasses um like prada sunglasses mm, versace sunglasses chanel is definitely the highest out of all of them they're usually on average like 300 i'm not paying that much i'm just not so i got these dior ones from this girl i will put her um store down below i'll tag it down below because clearly i can't tag this i don't know girl it's not there i just bought it um i'll put her store down below because she always sells a lot of sunglasses but on cyber monday she was having a 50 percent off sale so these were originally 300 dollars, and i think yeah i got them for like one or they were 280 i think i got them for 140 so i think they're supposed to be like ski glasses because they have the little strap right here um and they do not close so they're literally just like this hence why it comes in this um case when she sent it i'm like what the why the hell is this box so big for these little ass sunglasses but they don't bend so that's why so it just has the dior right here they don't have any scratches really good quality or really good condition i should say and then bow 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 come on i'll wait period you see me you see me okay they look so good i feel like this with like an all black fit you're giving matrix vibes okay you're giving bad bitch vibes so yeah that's why i picked these up i i don't regret spending any ounce of my money on these period so i picked up this a burberry bucket hat because this girl she had it on depop for like it was somewhere around like a hundred and something but then like i said i got it on cyber monday and i got it for 65 dollars okay i said oh bitch get that in my cart now okay i feel like i'm not gonna put it on because it's gonna ruin my hair well bitch why did i even attempt that yes yeah, now house was a look i'm sure y'all know what a bucket hat, bucket hat looks like but um i got this just because i think it's gonna be so so cute for like spring and summer it is reversible but i will not wear something that is i cannot like red on my head girl this looks good no no it does have the burberry stitching right here so yeah i picked her up because i just oh <laughs> Okay, playing hot potato over here. I just feel like she's gonna be really cute, you know, jazz something up. And I got it for such a good deal and it was authentic. And I was like, why why would I not? The nights that I can't sleep, I'd be on Depop. Okay, I'd be on Depop and I'd be finding the deals. Okay. That's where I get on my plate. So we can move on to shoes. The first pair of shoes that I got are from Zara. So they are these heels. Dang, they're kind of hard to see. Let me try to put it up against something that's like a color dang it's still not doing it no motherfucking justice okay i'm sorry y'all but just trust me they're clearly a nude color um they have the like netting right here and they're just like a kitten heel y'all i used to clown the fuck out of kitten heels but now i mean they're just cute to me so i got these on sale they're only 30 dollars literally a plug okay yeah there's really not much to say about them besides they're classy they're kind of supposed to resemble the um how you pronounce it bonte vega something like bonte vega i was not gonna spend that money so zara plugged me with these and they still look of quality they still look expensive i just don't believe you necessarily have to always spend the coin to look of quality you know what i mean so that's when zara comes in handy for your girl so yeah i just got these super super cute so you guys already saw the nike box but i picked up some nikes y'all just a little background i used to be like a sneakerhead, like a hype beast like when i was in middle school high school i had all the jordans fours elevens threes ones everything like i was wanting to get every job my brother he worked at champs he was the manager so i used to get plugged like i used to dress like a little boy sometimes um i sold all my shoes i think when i graduated high school because i kind of wanted to be more feminine you know you just go through the transitions within styles but now i'm like damn i wish i did not sell all those shoes because i always i don't always want to wear heels i don't always want to be going out going to the mall and i have to wear heels because that's damn near all i have i've been trying to purchase sneakers okay i promise you for the past like six months this was the only drop that i was able to get on the sneakers app if you guys do this you guys know this fucking app is trash and i literally wanted to jump up and down okay and run five motherfucking miles around the block because i actually got some money juice so speaking of the shoes that was a long ramble 
Um, I got these Nike Dunks. So they kind of look like Jordan ones, the low top. I don't like those personally. The Dunks are way better to me. I cannot do the low Jordan ones. Um, the, I mean, the main difference, I just feel like the Dunks are a little bit wider. I don't know. And they're like less pointed at the top. They just give me a cuter vibe. So what are these called? I think they're ceramic. Yeah, but it's like an orange, um, like an emerald green, and then a black, and then of course, the white. Uh, what is this called again? Dan, if you guys would have asked me this like four years ago, I used to be like, yeah, the cho, the the, the the, the the, the, But now I don't know. I, what is the fuck? Why can't I think of the soul? The soul. Oh my God. Anyways, now y'all know I do not wear color. So when I got them, I was like, Am I gonna like them? Am I gonna know how to style them? And here we are and I love them. I'm like, yes, because they're still neutral to me. It's not like I'm wearing fucking purple and hot pink and you know, it's still like neutral colors. They're just a little bit louder. And I feel like they're super appropriate for fall and winter. So and that's why I picked them up. And I love dunks because girl, they're only a hundred dollars. So they're not expensive at all. And this is gonna be the first purchase of many if these motherfucking sneaker apps stop playing with me, okay? Okay, so the last pair of shoes that I picked up are some boots from Shoots. I don't know how to pronounce this, to be honest. I picked these up because one time, randomly, well, I had seen these on Instagram probably like six months ago and they were just in my cart, but they were $300. I was like, oh my God, I do not wanna spend that money. And then I randomly was on the website and for whatever reason, they were having this big ass sale. I got two pair for $240. I, I think they were doing like a buy one, get one half off, or they were all 40% off. I don't know, but girl, I snagged, okay? And I'm so happy I did. So the pair that I picked up are these nude, the freaking um, color is not showing up how it should because it's like washed out, but they're just some nude crocodile heeled boots. They kind of remind me of like the cowgirl style with a rounded top and um you all know white is my favorite color to wear different variations cream white off-white whatever that's why i picked them up and i have a dress that i want to wear them with these are so fire these are timeless the quality is amazing love that for me i got these in a size eight and a half if anyone's wondering and that's what i truly am and they are true to size and like i mentioned i got two pair look at me talking about quality so i got two pair the other pair were a black leather high knee boot, okay? And the bottom of the boot started to like come up, like right, I guess I should've did this before I put it away. But like right here at the toe, this started to like lift up and I'm like, what the fuck? Their whole slogan is quality boots. Mind you, I wore them two times and they started to do that. It's not like I was motherfucking tap dancing in them, okay? I was just walking. So I emailed them and I'm like, hey, these boots, I just purchased them, da, 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 da. There's only been two days, I'm really disappointed. They're like, oh yeah, no problem. So they sent me like a shipping label. I shipped them back and I'm waiting for my new pair. Love their customer service, okay? That's why I'm still saying their quality because my best friend Leah, she got um, two pair as well and hers are perfectly fine. So I don't know, I just might have gotten a trash pair. I don't freaking know, okay? But I was not happy, but they fixed it. So that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm gonna reposition my camera and um, we're gonna try on some of the clothes. Okay, okay. Okay, so I do not wanna have my vagina out, okay? But the first thing that I got was this green dress. As you can see, it is a ribbed material. It is a long, um, what would you say? Like long dress, maxi dress, long sleeve. And it has all these buttons right here. And of course I was a little thotty thought that I wanted it to be a little bit higher, you know, cause I feel like it just, it looks so sexy this way. I didn't even tell y'all where it's from. So this dress is from the crypt. Okay. It is a boutique that I found online and I have shopped with them a couple times before and I love them. Shipping is great. Pricings are decent and it is such good quality. Like this is so thick, so warm, not see-through whatsoever. 
Looks like I spent money on it because I did. So we always love that. But this is the dress that I wanted to wear those boots with. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm just gonna put one on because, yeah. <laughs> you guys will get the gist. Can y'all see? Yeah. Come on. Period. And that's just on period. And even with this hair. I'm literally an idiot. I got this in a size small, if anybody is wondering. Like I said, if you're not comfortable with it, you know, you can have this down. If you have a little bit more cleavage, you can have this buttoned up all the way, or, you know, whatever you wanna do. But yeah, she is heat. She's worth every penny that I spent. I think it was only like 40 bucks, so it wasn't too, too bad, but she's five year. Let me know how you like this style. Like, I, this is my first style doing this, but you guys voted. It was like 70% versus 30 for regular and vlog. So that's why we're doing it like this. Okay, so I threw on this top because I'm actually gonna wear this today. I'm going somewhere after this, but I got these leather pants from The Crypt as well. And they are just some pants that have some like chain detailing on the back, which is why they appealed to me. Because I was like, wow, that's a fire ass tuck to some regular leather pants, you know? So um, they do need to be taken in here, okay? Because the waist is looking not snatched how it should. Okay, it should be like this. And that's just one, period. But um, yeah, I picked these up because I knew they would be of quality. Like I said, I've ordered from this from them numerous times and they've never disappointed and if you guys shop from img this is like a more how should i say like affordable version of img because these pants on gia would have been like 90 to 100 and on the crypt they were 50 i think yeah 50 dollars. they're just the same quality like i promise you these are heavy these feel like expensive they feel like after one wash they're not going to just be trash looking. The inside has like a very soft material, like a velvet material. And um, yeah, they don't look like you can see. They just, they're fire. Like even though they're fake leather, it doesn't look like that cheap leather. You know what I mean? That you'll get from like Pretty Little Thing or those type of boutiques, girl. Some of that stuff I be getting, I be like, this shiny ass leather, like pleather, this shit looks cheap as hell and I'll end up returning because I'm not gonna wear that. But I also like how they are, I don't know if you can see y'all. I'm moving soon. The setup will be a lot better eventually. But this is what we're working with right now. They are long enough to where if I wear heels, they're still long and they're not dragging on the floor. And if I wear sneakers, they're not dragging on the floor either. They're just not high waters. And it's really hard for me to find pants that are not because I'm 5'7". So, yeah. But I got these in a size small. If y'all are wondering, definitely worth my coin. I feel like I'm so out of breath. Like changing into these clothes and talking at the same time. I do not usually do this as a haul, so. Bear with me, girl. I feel like I done ran a damn mile. Okay, y'all. So, we are moving. Look, I, I did a little lean there. I lost my balance for a second. We are moving on into Zara. So, I picked up these pants. They're just some textured off-white cream. As you can tell, this is like a true weight. This is cream. Um, a pair of trousers. And they're not flared or anything like that on the bottom. They are tailored, so... They are not like, well, actually they go all the way down to my ankle. So I can appreciate that if I wear heels, it doesn't look like high waters, like I said. So I picked these up in a size small. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I have already styled this. So I'll insert a picture. Actually, no, fuck that. Follow me so you can see how I styled it. <laughs> Get you to click on my page. Okay, little uh, shameless promo, self promo. So they were a little bit on the pricey side. They were $50, but I wear cream all the time. I feel like I can style them numerous ways to make the booty look good. So, picked them up, you uh, know, don't regret it. So the next thing that I got, I'm not gonna try it on because it's literally a turtleneck, is 
just a cream knit turtleneck girl there's really nothing to say about it it was like twenty dollars and um i mean i just needed one i need to get it in more colors to be honest because it has a really high neck that you can either like leave scrunched or you can fold down i like the versatility of that and uh yeah girl i picked this up i am not messing up my hair for this <laughs> i'm just not gonna do it okay and the next thing that i got you guys have probably like i said if you watch my vlogs you've already seen this but it is just a leather brown trench coat and i actually saw this twice before purchasing it the first time i have bought a couple other things and i just didn't feel like this needed to be prioritized and then i visited a second time and here we are she's in my closet now so yeah this was like 80 dollars i think um which i feel like is a great price because when i tell y'all this looks like of quality like it looks expensive it feels expensive and i don't know it's not just like a cheap leather if you know what i mean y'all y'all know what i'm talking about so pick this up love it feel like she'll be really cute with like an all brown monochromatic moment so yeah i'm just like looking in my mirror but she's fire i love her and she comes with a belt so if you want to wear her like fastened you can look like inspector gadget you know show a little leg period okay look at that yellow anyways on to the next item okay oh okay so the last thing that i picked up from zara this was actually on sale it was like 17 dollars i think it is just a pleather um like cream skirt mini skirt so i got this to go with those cream boots that i bought with like a cream turtleneck sweater like a long sleeve um and maybe like a cream trench because i already have one um i was just thinking of like a monochromatic moment but she's really big she does not look flattering at all but i already knew that this never works out for me okay things are never gonna fit my freaking waist unless it's like fashion nova or something like that but um i'm gonna get it taken in and i just feel like it's so cute and like it has pockets it's just like so feminine it doesn't look cheap and that's what i was looking for so i would never wear her with this top this looks ridiculous yeah this is the last thing that i picked up i got it in a size small because if i would have got an extra small this it would have been up here okay showing my ass cheeks as soon as i walked so i did not want that to happen but yeah just picked her up she's super cute all right you guys well that was the last of the items i got a couple things you know accessories i got shoes i got clothes so i just wanted to show you guys because i didn't get enough items from like one particular store to do one dedicated you know haul to that so that's why i did it this way anyways the lighting you guys see how she, look, let me show you what it looks like outside okay it's so dark outside like i hate it here um that shit had me tired i was out of breath girl that was my first time doing that in so long trying on clothes and talking about it at the same time a struggle anyways yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down below what was your favorite item and also please give me feedback on whether or not you like the style because if you do i'll do more i don't know make sure you like you comment subscribe okay and do some for yourself, do some for others, and I'll see y'all. I don't know when I'm going to see y'all again because I'm real busy right now. Like I said, I'm about to move. So I'll see you guys soon, okay?